So what I want to do is uh, talk very briefly about one of the most important things, and that is subliminal communication. We all know it in person, but these days everybody's jumping on video. We're having video meetings and there's communication that is nonverbal. And we experience this in real life. I mean, when you're face to face with somebody, if they're ignoring you and constantly looking at their phone and just not paying attention to you, you go, well, I'm not having a good communication with this person. And you, you know that those kinds of things happen in interpersonal communications. Well, they're also telegraphed when you're on video. So one of the things that I see a lot of people do on video is not look at their camera because they want to look at their computer monitor because they want to see the presenters that are talking and what have you. That's a very natural thing. Unfortunately, we have to go against our nature. And in order to look like we're connecting better, we have to look at our camera. So right now I'm looking at my camera and my monitor is a couple inches below where my camera is. So that's one thing. You want to look at the camera as much as possible. It takes a little practice, but do look straight into your camera. Next thing is put your camera at eye level. Put it up higher than you think. I'm coaching people on this a lot. And unfortunately, one of the problems is, and I'll, and I'll show you an example of this, people have a tendency to put their camera below them. And so you end up looking up their nose. This is not good. This is not a good thing for anybody that is not visiting the ENT, your nose and throat doctor. I don't want to look up your nose. I don't want to look at the bottom of your chin. And this is where almost everybody who doesn't go out of their way to actually learn this stuff, that's where we put our camera is nice and low. And the reason is because that's where the laptop sits. It sits on the desk. So what you have to do is get books, a big stack of books, and really get that camera up to eye level. You want to be able to hold a string straight from your eyes, straight to the camera. You really want to be eye level. So that will help you make better eye contact and communicate better with your audience. So look right at the camera, have the camera at eye level. And the next thing is make sure your eyes are well lit. What that means is you don't want all your lighting to come straight from overhead. If that's the case, then you end up with raccoon eyes, really dark eye sockets. That's not a good look either. So make sure that there's some really bright light over near where your camera is on your face. So your face is well lit. So today it's all about the eyes, eye level, eye contact, well lit eyes. That's all I got for today, guys.